Hello, this is Vampire. Okay, so this is lesson two of a new series, and uh, we're gonna go to the angles of attack. You guys have all uh, heard that with the sticks, when you do the angles of attack, one, two, three, four, these are large motions, of course, because the stick has the length. When we go to the knife, you have heard, and every, everybody on YouTube probably says this too, the other instructors will tell you that the movements will become more compact, okay? I'm here to share a little bit more detail on that. So uh, now, it feels like I'm going off on a tangent here, but in college, I remember talking to a Kung Fu guy, okay? This guy was like black sash in Kung Fu, and they were training with the sword, the Kung Fu sword. And the movements looked similar to the Screamer stick. But I noticed that they kept the sword like really close to their body. And I asked him like, what's up with that? And he told me that, yes, I want to be attacking with the sword. But at the same time, I have the sword against the body as armor. So if they attack me, it would protect, it would protect the body. So it's protecting and attacking simultaneously. And I thought... Wow, that's a very cool concept. I should apply the same concept to Eskrima. Okay, so that was the very first time that I started thinking about how do I do this. And of course, over the years, I met many talented martial artists. Some were from Filipino martial arts, some were not. And they had similar ideas. So it only uh, confirmed or, or made my walk on the path easier okay so I'm here to share that with you guys so the angles of attack you know it from the sticks it's gonna be more compact so it's gonna be one two three four so whatever it is whatever you decide to do now you're gonna keep it more like in this quadrant imagine imagine like a frame okay but there's no need to go all the way out here or all the way out here it's going to stay within this frame, okay? So keep that in mind. That's the first part. The second part is now as you do it, I want you guys to come here and look. The knife is ready. It's ready to make contact. So after I finish the slash, after I finish the angle, it's still pointed. And look at my, my body right here. I am ready to make contact too. It's not just a knife. It's not just a knife. It's also, I'm ready as well. I am braced. Okay. So if I come this way, look, the blade is ready. The blade is ready to make a stab, but my body is also ready to make that impact because we're going to be in closer range. The knife is closer range. So I'm going to be closer with the opponent. There's a chance we're going to collide. So I have the arm up so I don't just collide like this. Even if I have this, even if this stabs, I might still get collided. So I have the arm right here, okay? So when I go to this angle, look, boom. I have this ready, I have this hand here, and this, the point is facing. Same with this right here, okay? So ready to do this. So no matter where you decide to, to go, just keep in mind, get ready for impact, have the blade constantly, after you slash, the blade is ready, and then have the other hand ready to, ready for collision, okay? So that's it for now, thank you for viewing, and take care folks.